Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of new series, new series, new series, put new save file, fool. Anyways, I'm going to play as Andromeda on a little bit of greed mode here. I can't remember what the unlock for this is, but I think it's good if I remember correctly. And I do quite like Andromeda for uh, greed mode anyways, it's kind of fun just because you're kind of filling the whole room with tears. Um, so you're going to be getting quite a lot of extra hits. It's kind of nice. We'll see what we get to start out with. Eh, let's gravity shift this and see what we get. Honestly, not a bad haul, because now we can buy a key straight off the bat. Uh, the, the extra soul heart is also not bad. It's basically the equivalent of what we would have grabbed anyways. We've also got the dusty D10 there. Another soul heart here as well. Wow. Okay, not, not bad grabs here. Not bad grabs. Let's see if we can get an extra penny or two. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll see what item room holds for us here today. Slipped rib. I'm going to do this again, and I kind of regret this, but I think... I was just about to say, I think if we get a lot of money, we might not regret it, because I've got kind of an idea here. Perthro is really nice. Um, we got enough to do what I wanted to, potentially. Um, right, pop this here. Damn it, no nickel. I was really hoping we could get an item there. Um, not that any of these items are any good, but we could have Perthro at least. Eh... No items here, but that didn't go too badly, I don't think. So I'm not, I'm not too displeased. Um, and kind of following on from the episode, from yesterday's episode and question of the day, I was asking about like if you believe in sort of spirituality and stuff. What's your thoughts on like horoscopes and um, people that believe in um, star signs and stuff? What's what's kind of we're the right character to be talking about this. So what's kind of your thoughts about it? Again, I'm pretty much the same as I was with the whole amethysts and all that sort of stuff, where if people aren't too pushy about it, then I don't really care. The, I'd say the only thing that bothers me is when when you do something. This has only happened to me very, a very few amount of times, like very low amount of times. But it's when, when like, you'll do something and they'll be like, oh, that's so Leo of you. And it's like, oh, stop. Just, no. Like, there is... There, like, there is definitely some correlation because there's always going to be some correlation because the description of each of them, basically at least one aspect will fit every single person. So it's they're, they're designed to be like, um, like when people do like fortune telling. They're designed to be like that where they're essentially always going to fit some part of your description no matter what. Um, but... It's one of those things as well, someone put a comment in the last episode, basically saying like, um, Oh, I didn't actually use a key. Oh, if I use my gravity shift, I don't use a key. That's interesting. I like that. Um, do I want to bother? I'm just going to pair throw here and see what I get. Yeah, that's good. I'd rather not spend money. And then, I'll see, I'll see. Um, yeah, I'll see, I'll see. Um, yeah, it's kind of one of those things, isn't it, where if you believe in it, then it has effect. If you don't, then it doesn't. And that's kind of the best way for it to be, really. If you believe it has effect, and you believe it means something, then more power to you. But it's... As, I, I basically don't care what anyone believes at any time, as long as they don't try to force any of their beliefs on me. That includes things like, like, um, like sexual preference and, um, like, diet. Like, one of the most annoying things, which, again, I've never really, like, experienced myself, but it's it's when people push their, like, agenda on you. Like, for example, there's obviously memes that go on the internet of vegans being really pushy about wanting everyone else to be vegans and stuff like that. Um, as long as people aren't pushy about it, it doesn't really matter. I, I do have a family member um, that can be quite pushy about their agendas, um, and that can be really annoying. I remember once... Um, I was... I, I'm, I'm pretty anti-smoker. I, I don't really like smoking. I don't think you should smoke. I'm never going to smoke, and I would prefer my friends slash family to not smoke as well, but I'm not going to force them to. It's their own choice. Um, but anyways, I was speaking to one of my family members who's been smoking pretty much all her life, and she was trying to make the argument to me that smoking isn't as bad as the media makes it out to be, and I'm like, shut up. It is. <laughs> like, you can't... You can't deny that it is <laughs> i'm sorry but no this doesn't this isn't valid 
Right, um... Honestly, snake oil for half price isn't bad, but I I really do want odd mushroom, though. Odd mushroom is a huge tears up. I'm going to go with odd mushroom instead. Um, just because that's a massive tears up for a only minor um, thingy down. I would very much like to, um, to grab snake oil, though, and I'm just trying to sort of suss out a way in which that could be plausible right now. So let's let's go through here and see if there's a, a penny held within here for us. We could go alt path, I guess, but we don't need to. Um, I'll buy this and see. Jack of hearts. Uh, we'll drop more often. Okay, that's literally pointless here, but I'll pop it on the next floor and see what happens. But yeah, having this tier rate already is really nice, even with the lower damage. It's just more tiers on screen, and I very much like that. But yeah, one thing that I one thing that I noticed and was like quite happy to see is like, do you know, like when you watch a creator, oftentimes you have a personality similar to that creator, at least in one way or another, um, because that's kind of why you're drawn to watching them. And obviously, I kind of I kind of known that of a lot of my audience that a lot of you guys have similar opinions to me um, in one way or another, and that was very much backed up by uh, yesterday's question of the day. Honestly, like. Every single one of you pretty much had the exact same opinion, that commented at least, had the exact same opinions that I did, and I found that kind of interesting. Let's check this out. That is fantastic. Also, planetarium here. Um, nice. This is another one we can gravity shift here. Oh, yes. Managed to grab it without taking any damage. That was pretty awesome. And where are... Oh. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, no, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, damage up for each new room explored. Um, gives higher damage. That doesn't do anything for us. I'm going to take the risk and do this. Um, I think we're going to take the fires here. Why does it make the floor slippy? That wasn't really the most ideal way of doing that, but it's fine. Fruity Plum here. This is actually pretty good. I think I'll take Fruity Plum along with taking um, BFFs. Right. Not bad stuff going on here. I'll pop this and just see what happens. I doubt it'll do anything. Also, absolutely love that Crackling Slag um, works with uh, our spinny tears and orbits around us. It's so fun. And yeah, we're going to be freezing stuff like crazy because of our high fire rate here. This is, this is very good. I'm glad I took this over the, uh, the palace item, whatever it was called. Because that wouldn't have been very good for us at all. Two of the same waves back to back. I can deal, I can deal. You're going to summon stuff. I don't want much of that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the, the fire's doing the spinnies. And they have, they have, um, they adopt all the tier effects as well. So we can potentially get some really cool stuff going on with those. Um, yeah, take you. Definitely take you. Wow. Holy shit, this run got really crazy. I don't know if it does anything with our fires with Cricket's body, but it might. I kind of need to see. It's hard to tell, I'll be honest. Either way, we are slamming ass with this setup right now. And I realized that was a really weird way to phrase that, and I kind of regret it, but it's been said now. We are the Fire King. All hail my fire. Did I manage to clear up the creep, then? Did my little fire clean... Cle I think my fire's clean creep. The peppermint fires, that is. That's really cool if that's the case. That's really cool. Holy shit. Isn't this something beautiful? And it's not even that laggy either. For having Cricket's body on top of this, it's not even that laggy. And then here we get Star of... Uh, that's actually pretty decent if we get a way to get Blue Flies, so... Pretty happy with that. Also, upon killing enemies it works too, so... Good on that front as well. I'm gonna take a gamble here. Damn it. I'm gonna take another gamble. Yes, I just wanted the one penny so that I can buy BFF. Right. Let's 
get gone. Sadly can't get to that. Uh, actually, do you know what? This is probably worthwhile. Could get a key out of it. Or a random pill that's going to give me a tears down. No, shot speed up. Which does nothing for us, so not that great. Right, let's go. So far, enjoying the way this run is going. There's some very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff indeed happening here. I like it. That is probably something we want to take. The tier size down isn't very good. Ex Can someone tell me what the fuck just... Okay. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, the tier size down isn't great, but... That damage up. Pretty darn nice. Blood Clot's going to be really good for us here, because that's flat damage on top of what we already have. Oh god, the fires are so small now as well. There goes the boom. Oh god, I'm in love with this run. I'm in love with this run. Cricket's body. Always one of my favourite items to get from vanilla. No key for us yet. Oh my god, the, f the ability to freeze right here is nutty. Things are dying so fast as well. We're just firing so many freezing tears. So many freezing fires. And they stick around for so long as well. Thank you, Peppermint, for being the best. Okay, we've got a few of these jokers that my brain doesn't really do a great job of sussing out how to fight. Tap shooting the hell out of everything, and it's all dying very, very quickly. Oh, hello. There's some underground boys. I did not realize. Right. Quickly. Buy that. Buy that. Oh, there was a cheap key there. God damn it. I didn't even see that. Fortune cookie. I'm going to take that. Actually, not bad for us. Um, because we could get some soul hearts. We also just got a gift card, which is real nice. Um, I don't know how good the gift card is going to be, actually. Actually, no, I've got an idea. I've got, I do need a bomb to make it work, so we'll have to buy a bomb. Ah, oh, wait, and will this work? I don't know. I'm going to try this out. I've just got perfection as well, which is not going to last as long, but I'll keep it. Oh, our blood clot fires are red too. That's cool. Right. Give me perfection. I need a bomb. Damn it, there's no bomb for sale. No, it's not going to work. God damn it. What I was hoping to do is get a bomb, destroy the angel deal, get the key piece, gift card it, turn it into uh, a gift. But then again, I say that. I don't even know if you get a key piece on greed mode. I don't think you do. Maybe that wouldn't have even worked. Do you know what I think is happening with all the white fires? I think the crackling, um, the crackling slag stuff is... There's perfection gone already. I think it's, um... The way that it's generating tears is kind of overloading. However, it works out how to fire our, our white fires. And it's just going absolutely insane. Really good there. Gotta love it. Yes, I don't really know where I'm going to use this gift card now. I'm not quite sure. I'm probably going to go like this here and see what we get. Not super happy about this, but there you go. Filigree feather? <laughs> it's the slug boy. Cat slug, whatever it's called. Filigree Feather, certainly an interesting one. We'd need bombs to go with it, though. And here we got big damage up. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. We'll just take that, I think. It's going to last us a good while. 
three random hearts. If one of them's a soul heart, I'll be happy. And there it is. And one of them is a soul heart. Our axe will do good stuff. Also, I like the way that our helmet is different because we're playing as Andromeda. Well, I, it might not be because we're playing as Andromeda, but that's, that's, that's what I feel like it is. No secret room on this floor. Ow. No secret room to be seen, apparently. We're getting a lot of cards. And fortune cookie, which I very much like. Holy hell, we are just shitting on everything. And it's truly beautiful. <laughs> My god. Another card. Wow. I don't know how we keep getting them, but it's just non-stop. And I quite like that. <laughs> Look how quickly that guy died. The locusts are doing a ton of damage too. That's that's one big part of this. We're kind of keeping him CC'd as well, just stuck in one place with all the fires to slow down. Right. Let's check what's going on here. So, filigree feathers are a good one, but we can't get any bombs this time around. So it doesn't do much for us right now. And we've only got like a floor left. I don't think it's really worth grabbing, to be honest. We might not even get an angel deal. The Nort thing is pretty decent. I think I'll take that. I want to just try something out here. It says it can pick up items. Okay. Good stuff. Right, we've got a bomb now, so we can, I, I will pick this up. Sun Bond is... Potentially a lot better, though. I'm going to take some Bond, because I think with Fruity Plum it could be really, really insane. I don't exactly know how it'll work, but I think he'll crick its body and I think it'll be crazy. I suppose I could take Filigree Feather for just... Just this, uh, fight, but... Just this Angel deal, but it's fine. It's The mistake has been made. Still a 50-50, we get a devil deal anyways. Ah, bugger. I buggered this up a little bit, didn't I? Okay. 66% tier boost at the beginning of the floor. It will slowly decay over the span of 90 seconds. Plus one revive, uh, revives you for... Plus one life revives you on revival. Um, if you're taking devil deal, spawn a hostile angel boss, which will drop items from the devil rule pool. Instead, spawn... Okay. Crown of Light's really good, and it gives us thingies uh, as well, but Job's Rags is also really interesting. I think I'm just going to take the Crown of Light and be a basic bitch. Definitely should have brought my Filigree Feather in there with me. My mistake. It's fine. What's done is done. Right. Down we go. Ah, oh, I missed out on a penny there. God damn it. It's fine. Don't want to take damage, so I'll buy the more expensive key. Slightly annoying, but what has to be done. Pinking Shears is probably better at this point. And then I think we gift card this. Lump of Coal's fantastic. And then where the hell do we use this? I guess just here and see what happens. Not very happy about that. I guess it's some bombs regardless. Lump of coal here is kind of nutty. Pinking Shears is also really, really good. Oh god, my tears are moving at insane rates here. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell what's going on right now, but because we've got Sown Bond where our familiars adopt our tear effects, Fruity Plum is firing, and rather than the fire coming straight out of Fruity Plum's face like it normally does, it's coming out of our body and ad adding additional tears onto our ring, which is why it looks so hectic. Which is not what I expected, but it's very welcome. Yeah, Fruity Plum can no longer fire for herself. Ow. 
crown of light has been taken away from us for now. Okay, we can deal with it. Nothing in here really looks like a nice cup of tea. Nope. Nope. Binky? I don't know. I think we're at tears cap, so I don't think Binky does anything for us. Okay, we'll leave that there for now. Good. good. Oh my god, all those fires. Oh, that destruction. He just instantly died. Right, and then I think we should be able to grab two of these now. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, hey fellas. There must be some glitch going on with Lump of Coal here, because that damage seems to be stacking way higher than it should be. It might be something to do with Fruity Plum. Hmm. This might be a damage down, but I'm going to risk it. It is a damage down. Back. Right. That's one of those things where it's... The lower, the, the lower your damage is, the more of a damage up that it is. Our damage was already fairly high, so it didn't really work. Another planetarium. Venus? I think I'm going to gravity shift. Uh, this isn't great. Every boss room, I think that's good. We'll try that out. We've also finally got a crane game. Yay, we unlocked those before. I'm happy. Right, let's get to insta-killing again. Let's get to insta-killing. I think basically what's happening is the fruity plum tears are coming onto our body, getting all of our tear effects, and thus the speed at which they move plus lump of coal is stacking their damage beyond our wildest beliefs and meaning that we're like doing nutty damage so i'm curious to see how this affects the boss either way i like it like it just deletes anything it touches instantly boss or not we are a whirlwind of pain and nothing can stop us Just quickly. Yep, insta kill. Insta kill. And insta kill. It's just nuts, isn't it? Right, just go for the whole shebang here. Why not? That guy didn't even get into his second phase. I will take Pinhead for the piercing. Who are you calling Pinhead? We'll see what items we can get from our shop here. We don't have a reroll, so I guess we go for this. And then I think we're good. Right. We got Mum's heel here for some reason. Okay, <laughs> don't really know why we got that. Extra range, I can't imagine it's bad. We'll see what random buff we get in this fight here. We get... Oh, nice. Extra damage. Okay, so, once Furry Plum gets on, gets on it, 
I think we're just going to absolutely annihilate this guy. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. Wow. One of the quickest kills I've had in a while. That was absolutely nuts. I'm very glad I took Stern Bond. That interaction is incredible. Look how fast they're moving. Unlocked Stardust. Intriguing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A very fun episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.